Hello everyone, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Sally Horn, as you said, <laughs> sister-in-law to Jessica. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to describe. <laughs> I'd like to start off by thanking you, Jessica and Garrett, for letting us be a part of your special day. And also, <laughs> Mark and Tanya, Dan and Linda, for all their love and support they've shown over these past couple months for making this big day. Jessica. Today I'm proud to be your matron of honor, but truth be told, this is just one of many titles we share. Over the years, we started as friends and then roommates. You were maid of honor at my wedding. My sister, co worker, and Juju, but most importantly, my best friend. I never imagined 10 years ago when we first met. And you confessed your love to me on the way home from your class reunion that I would end up married to your brother and be the mother of your amazing niece, Eva. Eva, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You've been there for some of our darkest moments in my life, but also celebrated with us on our happiest moments as well. Garrett, you came into Jess's life when she needed you most. Your kind heart and gentle soul are two of the many traits that made it our family fall in love with you just as Jessica has. You also have a great sense of humor. Might not be as good as Ryan's, but <laughs> you'll get there someday. True. <laughs> I love to see how you interact with Eva. She adores and loves her Uncle G and Juju very much, and we're all very lucky to have you in our lives. Over the past few years, we've had the privilege to witness you two fall in love. Your connection is truly inspiring, even to us old married couples. <laughs> I'll treasure the trips we shared, such as those South Tina, Hershey, and Charlotte, and I look forward to many more to come. I'd like to end with a quote that I read the other day. Marriage is not a noun, it's a verb. It's something that you get. It's something you do the way you love your partner every day. So, I ask everyone to raise their glass, and let's have a toast. As Linda always says, the best is yet to be. Cheers. All right, in case you didn't know, my name is Anthony, I'm Garrett's younger brother. And I call myself a more athletic and better looking brother. Some of you would say I look like Tom Cruise from Top Gun. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. <laughs> yeah, I've been the best friends from the start, and he's always pushing me to be the greater brother. <laughs> the only reason I see myself as a greater brother is because you always push me to, and always push me and encourage me to be, do the best with whatever I was working towards. We just play sports together, I was going to do the more challenging, more athletic things my brother pushed me to do. <laughs> the first day Gary moved out, I was looking for somebody to look the ball with, and I quickly realized I couldn't look at my quarterback. Then I realized you had all the better stuff in your room, so I just went there and took everything I could remember. <laughs> <laughs> Gary matches a brother, someone I look up to, but he always been someone who has coached and mentored me, and most importantly, a friend. Now Jessica gets to enjoy all those things that I grew up with, including endless nights playing video games, eating and breathing everything basketball. But in all seriousness, Jessica is awesome, and I couldn't ask for someone better spend, for you to spend your life with. Garrett, you're now moving on with your life, and I plan to continue following your footsteps. And I can't wait to go on more road trips with Jessica and her family, even if the races don't actually happen. What's <laughs> 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 that? I raise your glass to the new Mr. and Mrs. Moorbacher. I heard the groan when I heard my name. I'm taking names. Everybody that groaned who said I was the top. So, <laughs> whatever, Trevor. So, this is a big, big, big day, um, obviously. Um, my sister, I grew up with her. Um, everybody's trying to claim her as their best friend, but uh uh, right here, this guy right here. I grew up with her years and years and years. And I would, I don't know if there's anybody 
that I'm as close to in life as my sister. Um, and the one thing that a big brother um, wants for their little sister is his whole life to take care of them. And I know, I know, all in my heart, Garrett's the guy to do it. I've seen it. I know it in my heart. So, I thought I was the one who was going to cry. <laughs> so, um, just the way that I've seen their relationship together has been an inspiration to me and Sally. Um, not every day is going to be the easiest, um, but you get through it, and that is what a relationship and a marriage really is. And I see that happening with you two on a daily basis. Like, the very first thing that I told Jess about Garrett, and I'm so glad that this is exactly what happened, I said, Jess, don't screw it up. <laughs> Today is the confirmation she didn't screw it up. I just love them very, very much. And everybody is hungry. I stole a snickerdoodle back there. They're very good. So I want to raise my glass again. You guys are getting a workout. Raise your glass to the Mr. and Mrs. Laura Parker. Dear Lord, we come to you today to celebrate Jess and Garrett being together. And we just want to thank you for everything you do for us. And I wish Jess and Garrett nothing but the best, and life's a climb, but the view's great, and as long as they look to you, they will never fall, and just thank you for everything you do, and with um, our grandparents gone, and the other ones that are still here, to keep them safe, keep them protected, and just keep them reminding that when life is hard, you are always with us, and just thank you for everything you do.